What's up, wave makers? It's me, Mommy Sue. Now <laughs> And we have an interesting one today because, as you know by reading the title, paparazzi had their second annual super spreader convention. <laughs> okay, like there's no proof that it was a super spreader convention yet. There is a little bit of evidence that I've been sent that I'll talk to you guys about. But I wanted to go through all of the stuff I gathered regarding how the conference went. And spoiler alert, it seems like it was kind of a disaster <laughs> in terms of how other years have gone. Now, obviously, last year they had over 20 people die by attending their conference from the vid you know what I'm saying will we see more deaths this year hopefully not but quite possibly we'll see about that but you guys will see the attendance from what I can see looks way lower than previous years lots of interesting stuff here uh, but before we do I want to give a small whoa small business shout out yay now, just a reminder, when I do these, I'm not being paid to promote this company. They are just friends of mine who are ex-paparazzi consultants. I've had one of them on my channel, and they started their own business after leaving paparazzi. And wouldn't you know, I opened my P.O. box one day, and there was a gigantic box in it from them, and, you know, I'm here for people leaving their MLM and then starting their own business. So this business is by my friends Andrew and Will, and the business is called The Royal Import. Emporium. Oh, hi, Pop-Tart. <laughs> she was laying on the box, so I guess she likes it. But they're a boutique, and they kind of do the paparazzi thing in the sense of, like, they go live and they show off all their boutique items. I, they probably still do the comment sold thing. It's a fun little live show that you can watch them do, but it's not an MLM, obviously. It's their own small business. So there's a little fun aspect there. But most importantly, this is what can happen when you leave your MLM and start your own business. So I want to go through the boxes that they sent me. First of all, they sent me this shirt, which is so soft, like, incredibly soft and stretchy. And they also sent me the shorts I'm wearing too, which are also nice and stretchy. Can you see them? Also, they sent me an eyeshadow palette, which I did on my eyes today. And I used them another day too. So this is like the second set of colors I've used to make an eye look. And I like the way it turned out. Um, the colors are very pigmented and the blush I'm wearing also came from a blush set they sent me from their boutique. <laughs> this box is huge, but their website is really interesting. They've got a lot of stuff. So roasted garlic dip and cheese ball mix. It looks delicious. <laughs> they sent me a brownie batter coffee, microwave popcorn, some wax melts that are not scentsy and it's got their little faces on it. So cute. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but they sent me this as a joke back when the booze stuff was going on. Obviously, I don't think they're selling this. Uh, they sent me <laughs> dirt scented wax cubes and guys, I'm telling you, it just like straight up smells like soil. It's so funny. It was just a joke. This isn't a thing that they actually sell, but they do sell actual <laughs> wax melts and it smells really good. See, they're a replacement for your Scentsy, too. They sent me this hat with a little skull on it. I mean, I don't wear hats, but if I did wear hats, I'd wear this one. Bug repellent hydrating cream. They also sent me some candies from the Candy Club that look really, really good. Sugar-free gum. These earrings, which I think are clip-ons, which is obviously perfect because I got big giant holes in my ears. And these earrings, you guys, have little crowns on them, like almost like paparazzi because I'm the real queen, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they just hang in the tunnels of my ears. That's perfect. They sent me this mug and it says, I'm not always a bitch. Just kidding. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> It's a polar camel insulated mug. They sent me some leggings that have like little cutouts on the side. They're really soft and stretchy. I'm not gonna try them on because I'm already wearing some of their clothes, but oh, these, these ones have a pocket for your phone too. That's always nice, but they're cute. I mean, I really like the side detail and how they're cut out like that. Oh, before I go through the rest of the clothes, let me show you these last two things in here. They sent me caffeine, Simply Mints, Awaken. Ooh, I didn't realize there was caffeine in these. Ooh, wake me up, wake me up. Okay, they sent me Goddess Sugar Scrub which is really pretty. It looks like strawberry lemonade. Jump into the shower, chant, I am a goddess while rubbing all over in circular motions. Okay, I'm not gonna do that, but if you wanna do that, be my guest. Okay, so they sent me some biker shorts, <laughs> which I was just talking on Instagram a few weeks ago about wanting more biker shorts because I like how slimming they are and also how stretchy and comfortable they are. So these fit the bill. They sent me these shorts, which yeah, like these are right up my alley. They have the same little detail that those leggings had on the bottom, but they're like, swishy, comfortable, stretchy shorts. They sent me some freaking jeans. The distressed look, I like that. And it's got like a stretchy waistband, which is nice for my mom pooch. They sent me this shirt, super stretchy, super comfortable. And finally, they sent me this tank top, with roses on it and a little pocket. 
Okay, I'm gonna take this hat off though, because it doesn't look good with my lighting. <laughs> Covers my eyes and shit. Oh, one other thing. They also sent me this little like hedgehog stuffed animal with like beads in it and you can put it in the microwave and then it makes it warm. So it's like a warm stuffed animal and it holds heat for a while. My kids already found it. They took it. They love it. <laughs> Pretty sure it's in Sparrow's bed full of other stuffed animals, but she loves it. She saw it and she was like, oh my God, it's so cute. And I was like, wait, <laughs> there's more. I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and gave it to her. She's like, oh my God. Like she loves it. Anyway, so if you go to royal-emporium.com, which I'll have linked below, you can use the coupon code Savannah and save 15% on your order. Again, I don't get any compensation for it. If you guys want to check them out and place an order, yeah, use my code, you'll get some percentage off. But thank you, Will and Andrew in Royal Emporium for sending me all of that. That's so much stuff and that was so nice of you. And I'm glad that you have your own boutique now instead of selling paparazzi. Because fuck paparazzi, you know? Okay, so let's get to it. I have a whole list of things to go through. So I, I kind of like arranged the video clips that I'm gonna show you guys in chronological-ish order. Now, some of these clips have copyrighted music playing in the background, so I will probably have to mute that. But okay, so the first night they got there, there there was a millionaires club party. Now I had to ask, actually I asked Andrew and Will, what is the millionaires club? I don't understand what that is with paparazzi. I thought it was like literally like, do you make a million dollars? And then you get to be in this exclusive paparazzi club. He said, no, that is just one of the biggest teams in paparazzi. I think it's ran by Carla Neal Pierce. I've never heard of her, but apparently she's like super duper up at the top. So she threw a Vegas party for her entire team. It was like a whiteout party, I guess. So I have some footage of that. Oh, I asked Andrew how many people are on her team. And according to the team leader, Carla, close to 87,000 team members. So no wonder, like you're gonna look at this footage here and be like, that's a shitload of people. It's like, yeah, no wonder. She's got a huge team. So here we go. Here's some footage of it. The Millionaires Club. As you can see, everyone's dressed in white. Did she just like rent out an entire place in Vegas just for her whole team? Cause that's a lot of people, but you know, they're all doing some kind of dance together. How cute. I see one mask. That's great. Oh, they got a DJ for sure though. Like this cost Carla a lot of money. Yeah, they just look like they're having the time of their lives. Wow. Now, one thing I wanna point out here is that one of the comments on here says, be careful, COVID has been spreading at large conventions the past few weeks. There are also comments, someone's like, praying for everyone in there without a mask. Hate to be a downer, but millionaire don't keep COVID away. Just look at the prez. <laughs> Yes, praying for them, no one's wearing it. Hey, I saw one person. Yeah, and their justification for that is, oh, there's concert sporting events and all that happening right now and masks aren't a requirement in Vegas. It's like, yeah, but like, it's coming back right now. I mean, be maybe a little bit responsible, I don't know. I can catch a lot and die. I've prayed and I'm trusting God to protect my family and I. I live with sickle cell anemia and I can die from it. I do everything medical professionals and scientists have recommended over the last three years. At this time, masks are not required. If they reinforce them, I'll follow the rules of the land. God got me. He controls my destiny. Oh, that's such an irresponsible way of thinking too. Like, holy shit. Medical professionals and scientists still recommend wearing a mask. So why aren't you? If, if that's your logical anyway. Whatever, I get it, okay? Like it's been over two years now. People don't like wearing masks. Like I get it. And a lot of people are vaccinated too. So like, we're not as worried about it anymore. But I mean, if you're going to a big convention like this, probably should wear a mask. But you're right. It is your own personal decision. It's just like, did you learn nothing from last year? There's actually a lot of comments on here that are like talking about COVID and the lack of masks, which is kind of surprising to me because obviously everyone watching this is gonna be a paparazzi distributor. Anyway, let's move on. So the day after they opened up like registration for everybody and uh, I just have some footage of this, but also uh, some footage of the swag. We'll talk about that after we watch this. Okay, look at. There's so much swag here. So as you can see, there's like a little mini backpack. Now I think some elites got like free swag or something like that, but there's also stuff that people had to pay for. Oh, it was a life of the party, I guess, got those big backpacks back here, I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive who got what, okay? But I do know that there is just like straight up like a swag store. I mean, they really had this shit plastered all over the walls <laughs> at the MGM Grand, huh? Man, I wouldn't have wanted to go there for that shit. You know, it's that time 
time, we all have to have side hustles, get our investments together, get our budgets together, get our taxes together, get everything together. So anyways, this is one of them that I love. Can everybody say tax write-off? Thank you. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> a tax write-off? What is she talking about? Is she suggesting that she can write this trip off as a tax write-off? I don't think that's how it works. It seems like a gray area at the very most. But, but I think she's talking about like, I can write off my plane ticket because this is a work event. It's like, there's concerts and shit. Like this is more than a work event. It's a vacation. Like, I'm sorry, but it's a vacation. I wouldn't go running around telling people that you're writing this trip off on your tax. Because I don't think that's what that's for. <laughs> this video is the one I was looking for. As you can see, they have like a full setup of t-shirts, jackets. So the other thing about being in business is you have to show up in your gear. You have to? The name of my business is <laughs> but my supplier is paparazzi, so you know. This is home base. This is like the mothership. And we got some really cool um, gear. So I'm just going to show you a little bit. T-shirt, sweatshirt. This is some of the new exclusive items. I think that's a towel up there. I really, I think I'm going to get that towel, a water bottle. Yeah. It looks like a lunchbox. Notice the inspirational quotes on the shirt yeah I pretty blank. manipulative huh Not dibs on the bling and then there's that towel i'm really feeling that duffel bag plus as you can see there's this um this book bag this is our characteristics clear bag where we have our jewelry because people stop us and want to buy from us does that work you can see some of the items i got that pouch today in my backpack that's why I like for the when you reach a certain level you get that book bag when you come to these conventions here's another shirt is that a tape, tape dispenser, dispenser. What? uh organization for pens and pencils you know because it's a business because you know you gotta have your business things that's that pouch I said I thought it was cute and then we have it for paparazzi gear on sale. I think we get the point. That's what I wanted to show you guys is what all the swag was. Yeah, so I'm not sure. If anyone knows, let me know. But something tells me that like even that first set of swag that we looked at, like the bags and stuff, because that girl in the video was like, I just got that backpack yesterday or whatever. But it's like, she didn't say that she got the rest of it too. I don't know. Like, are you going to write that off as a tax write off too? You got to show up in the swag for your business. Like, no, you don't. Let them keep telling you that, sis. They're just making more money off of you. You spent money on a plane ticket or gas to drive there however it is you traveled there they had to pay for their hotel rooms although they got an exclusive rate even though in my last video I made about this upcoming paparazzi event that is now over I looked at other hotels on the strip that are like right across the street from the MGM Grand and some of them were like $30 a night and meanwhile they were paying over a hundred bucks to stay at the MGM Grand when it's like you could stay at another hotel and cross the street dude I don't know if anyone actually did that it seems like it would be blasphemy to these people okay so next up on our itinerary there was a top golf party that was invitation only for life of the party members I'm gonna definitely mute this that we just watched because it had that play that funky music white boy song in the background <laughs> but it was a cover band so they had a cover band uh, I have another video of footage of that Wow, that looks so fun. <laughs> Okay, honestly, like, I feel like this party, I'm a very frequent Vegas goer because I live in Phoenix, so it's only a four-hour drive. I go there at least once a year, I would say. Um, this ain't it. <laughs> this looks like middle-aged Karen's type of entertainment. Like, look at them all dancing and shit, like, all cringy. Like, this whole thing just is cringy, and it's like, we have Top Golf everywhere else, don't we? I mean, I know we have them in Arizona. Top Golf isn't, like, a Vegas exclusive place, and it's just, it just looks boring. Dude, this is the most boring live ever. This is eight minutes of this girl talking to other people. I'm sorry, 
sorry, but just like watching this footage doesn't make me feel like I'm missing out on anything. <laughs> There's so many people just standing around. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is paid for. This life of the party party is paid for. They didn't have to pay for this. I mean, I would assume they have to pay for drinks if they're drinking, but I mean, in Vegas, everyone day drinks, right? But I don't know. These people definitely look like party poopers, so I wouldn't put it past them to all be <laughs> sober. Come on, it's Vegas, honey. Whatever, no shame in being sober in Vegas. Obviously, she's live to her team, and it looks like it's just like, don't you want to be here with me? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> it just seems like loud and boring. The food's probably good though. Shit, free food, I guess that's enough to get me to be like, yeah, okay, I wish I was there. I don't know, there's just too many people, it's too loud. No one looks like they're having fun. It just seems like it's like really played up to be like, look, I'm life of the party, and if you work harder, you can be here too. Join my team and you can be here next year. Work your butt off, and it's like, who cares? Oh no, I missed out on Top Golf. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever will I do? I think there was like one girl playing golf and that was it. They're at Top Golf and she's like, there was only one girl playing golf and that was it. It's like, what are you guys doing there then? <laughs> Standing there watching a band and eating food. If it was a band that you paid for to go see, like maybe that would be fun. But it's like, this is just a cover band that no one knows who these people are. They're not famous, so. Ooh. Now it's my turn to get you. Woo! So much fun. That lady was all fanning herself, like it's all hot and shit there. Like, yeah, you guys look like you're having a great time. <laughs> Dude, that lady was wearing a shirt that said, feed your $5 habit. Mm, yeah, that's really responsible. What a weird thing to put on a shirt. If your bad habit is spending a shitload of money on lead lace jewelry, then you pr should probably rethink your life. Oh my God, it's so cringy. Yeah. I don't know if I'd call I that dancing. I, dancing for, I, did, I fucked up the moves, but yeah. Uh, oh, right. he said a bad Winnie, word. <laughs> so then they opened up the Hall of Fame, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, but not as exciting as the hype would have you believe. As you can see, it's basically just a giant convention hall with very large poster boards of people's faces. Which, cool, you know, recognition is great. But there's like not really anything else going on here. But basically this is just how all of the videos go that I've seen. It's just people walking through, looking for their names, pointing at their name, posing with their name, and then like, all right, that was cool, bye. It seems like a lot of hype for nothing. Look at my little crownsies. I'm about to get, me and Logan about to get this one, the Diamond Girls, hey. Not so pretty. I think they probably get this crown when they walk on stage because they have like a whole like recognition ceremony and stuff. So they probably give it to them then. This is awesome. I took a picture. Hey, Chelsea. Hi, Sharon. How are you? These poster boards are so awesome. Um, if you're LOP, you get a bag, a book bag, and you also get... um. Okay, there you go. So she confirmed that if you are life of the party, you get the backpack with the life of the party logo on it. There was a bunch of other stuff there too, though. So I'm assuming people had to pay for that. This was the goal that I set for myself and we hit that. Y'all did that. Isn't that good? That's awesome. I mean, she's right. Her team is basically who got her there for sure because she rose through the ranks and turned into life of the party because all the people she recruited and the downline that she has was buying inventory and buying jewelry and pushing her up through the ranks. So yeah, at least she admits, oh yeah, that was you. That was all you guys. Yeah, true. You didn't do shit. I'm so happy to be a part of this company, you guys. Oh my God, this is like the best thing ever. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the LOP party and then tonight we have train concert. So that's gonna be fun. Hi Shannon. Perfect segue. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the train concert. Yeah, that train. Somehow. I don't, I mean, paparazzi had to have shelled out a lot of money to get the lineup they had because they start this off with train. Let me pull up the video. I'm probably gonna have to keep it muted, but I'll show you a couple very small highlights just so I don't get copyright claimed. So here we go. Train kicked off the concert series, guys. I'm like, how much money did you have to pay this guy? Although I always get the feeling that Train is kind of one of those sellout bands, you know? <laughs> Now, I think it might be this video. I have to double check and make sure, but they end up like panning over so you can see the crowd. Oh, maybe it's another video. I have it in my notes that it might be another video. But while the crowd looks big here, he's facing, you know, the front of the arena who's right in front 
of terrain. The back of the arena, from what I've seen, is generally pretty empty, which is a big change from previous years. Know all these people just having so much fun at the train concert. This video I got from the Shirt Ripper guy too, by the way. If you haven't watched that video, maybe watch that video because it's probably one of my favorites. <laughs> it's wild. But yeah, so obviously this dude was here. Everyone just looks like they're having the time of their lives. Okay, well, so in this shot here, oh, that guy's head's in the way. Okay, see like here, those are all empty seats. There's a whole rest of the arena here. But I mean, you would think that the first concert kickoff of Train, huge name like Train, you would think that the arena would be packed, right? Well, think again, because apparently it was not. Okay, so that was the train concert. <laughs> That's basically all I can show you without getting copyright claimed. Now, they did have daily general sessions where I believe that that's where they had keynote speakers. The thing is, guys, is that I looked through a lot of people's profiles and I couldn't find a single video of any of the keynote speakers. I think one of them has like the very beginning that we'll watch. There is a video where they're announcing a keynote speaker, but then they turn the camera off. I wonder if, you know, maybe there was something particularly like, don't film the keynote speaker because obviously paparazzi paid these people a shitload of money to be there and I mean if they're giving the same speech at every event they go to who's gonna pay for it if everyone's already heard it right so there must have been something where they were told that they couldn't broadcast it or share it or anything maybe people did with their teams or something but yeah I couldn't find a single video and I would love to sit through and watch it but unfortunately unless you guys have the video the there were multiple keynote speakers. Send them to me. I have a Google Drive. You can send them that way. But I couldn't find it myself. And I spent hours looking through people's profiles. Lots of elites. I couldn't find it, dude. Anyway, so this was the pre-show to a general session from what I understand. And uh, while we're watching this, please note the lack of audience. I'm going to be cutting some of it up because I think, again, there's copyright music. But it's pretty awkward. They have like a DJ guy like walking through the audience and shit. But yeah, please notice even right here, there's a lot of empty seats. And I guess, you know, if this is the pre-show, not everyone has shown up yet. Okay. But like, it's pretty shockingly empty. Let loose and breathe like you're in the club. Let loose and breathe like you're in the club. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to dance like I'm in the club to Whitney Houston. We are in the club. We are in the club. <laughs> Check out those empty seats, baby. Oh, this was a video that I saved. Please notice that the fabric has paparazzi on it. This chick made a dress out of paparazzi fabric. <laughs> okay. I think that might've been the first day of convention. I just like forgot to show it to you. Also, I guess they got these little treasure boxes, they said, that comes with this light. And like, you would think that you would see some big like glistening piece of jewelry, but like, it's just in a plastic bag. Ooh, big reveal. I'm like, they definitely could have packaged this better to make it look more impressive. Like take it out of the plastic at least. I don't know. I get what they were going for, but it's not that impressive, dude. It's all wrapped in plastic. Okay, so that night they had a concert by a band called Florida Georgia Line. I've never heard of them. They're a country band. I don't like country music. Get it away from me. But here we go. Some footage of that. <laughs> Like again, so you can see here in the back, like this is a big country band, right? Like you would think that if you are here at the paparazzi convention, and by the way, they paid, I think like $250 for a ticket. Why would you miss anything if your ticket was that expensive? But clearly look at all these empty seats, dude. It's honestly kind of shocking to me. This video I've labeled some random video of everyone dancing and being cringe. <laughs> what is this? Oh. <laughs> Pretty true to the label I gave this video. What is going on? Why does everyone know what this dance is? They're all doing it. Damn, look at them go. What are we watching? I don't really know. This was posted by the same Facebook page as I think the Millionaires Club or whatever. So maybe it's another Millionaires Club event. I, I'm just confused. Dude, I just like watch this stuff and I'm like, this doesn't look fun. Does this look fun to anybody else? 
Honestly, like be honest. This is the kind of thing that people say is fun when they don't know what fun is. <laughs> this is what I wanted to really show you guys. I found this video. It was from a Colorado newscast last year. Now they never explicitly say that this is the paparazzi super spreader event, uh, but it was. I know this for sure uh, because the person that they interview in this news clip, I went and looked and she was at that convention. She was a paparazzi distributor, but as of this year, it looks like she has finally gotten out. So that's exciting. She still has her paparazzi website up, but not like with paparazzi. She's like got her own website and she's selling it for like 40% off. So yeah, it looks like she's left because paparazzi does not let you do that if you're still within paparazzi, but she's having like a liquidation sale. So good for her. It looks like since last year, she's gotten out. Anyway, I wanted to show you this video in particular because there are shots of the crowd from last year and you can see that the arena is much more crowded than the video clips that we've seen so far for this year. And that's why I say that this convention seems to have kind of been a flop compared to other years because like it seriously looks like based on the video we're about to watch that they had at least like double the turnout last year. Now the MGM Grands Arena, I looked it up and I already forgot, it is a capacity of 16,800. So this says basically 17,000 seats in that arena. I mean, based on the videos we saw, it's maybe halfway full but last year check this out the arena is basically packed full i'm pretty sure it did sell out last year and one colorado nurse thought she was making a safe getaway by going to a conference with 20,000 strangers but she found out on the last day she may have attended a super spreader event and she believes the only reason she didn't get sick is because she's vaccinated denver 7's russell haythorn has her cautionary tale this is Shocking our hyperbaric works. chamber. As the outpatient wound care manager at the Medical Center of Aurora. I am a nurse yeah. by trade. Part of Marissa Baird's job is dealing with pressure, literally. We provide pressure to the patient to where it increases the pressure over a 10 minute period so that you're- Notice that she's wearing a necklace. That's like clearly paparazzi. You could spot that from a mile away. <laughs> it does a really great job to heal incredibly difficult Check wounds. Check that out. She dude. also deals with the pressures of the profession. I work in healthcare and I see people, they're dying. Few would argue nursing has been especially difficult lately. We're all what I like to call COVID tired. So when Marissa got an opportunity to take a break and head to Vegas for a conference earlier. Here, look at this. Look at this. This was last year. This was the paparazzi convention last year in the same arena. They had it at the same place. It goes all the way back. She was in that back area. And you know, maybe you got, I mean, this is assuming that every one of these lights is a person. Obviously over here, we have kind of a little bit less there, but this is clearly way more packed than anything we've watched so far. We craved a little bit of fun. She jumped at it. I went to three concerts. We had three a black concerts. and white gala. And there's that rule, of course, about travel to Vegas. Everything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. This yeah. is not staying Stop in Vegas. Go. Well, not everything. Yeah, you can see right here. She's got the paparazzi. It's got the logo right there. Yeah, just wanted to point that out that that's exactly what we're talking about here. Travels with you wherever you go. In fact, the very thing many in Marissa's group came. Here we go. Star consultant with the paparazzi logo. Yep. Came here to get away from came back with them. We came home and within 24 hours, um, everybody in my immediate group tested positive for COVID. Including Shocking. Marissa's roommate at that huge conference in Vegas and about 20 of the 30 or so people she was people, in close dude. contact with. We were wearing masks, but we were in an arena with 20,000 people. What's more? And she even says there, she's like, yeah, there were 20,000 people there. Well, obviously the seating is 17,000. She's rounding up, but still, I mean, unless there's a source to say otherwise somewhere else, they did not have 20,000 people there this year or 17,000. There's no way. There's no way. Based on what I've seen, no way. That's just my opinion though, based on the photos and videos I've seen. The majority of them are unvaccinated. She feels fortunate she Shocking. did not get sick, which she attributes to the vaccine. It helped my immunity prevent me from getting it in close quarters with other people. Marissa is sharing her story because if she wasn't a believer in the vaccine before, she certainly is now. People are getting sick still. I feel blessed to have been given the opportunity to have access to it very early. I also feel blessed to have the knowledge 
um, and comfortability to have done it early on to protect me during these times. I thought that was really important to show you guys. Now on that note there, I know that Andrew told me that there were already people saying that they tested positive. Maybe his husband Will sent it to me. Okay, yeah, so it was a screenshot from Tracy and Caroline's one of their lives. They're still going strong with their small business after paparazzi too, by the way. But there's a comment here that says, just came to say my best friend went to Papa convention this year and came home with COVID for the second year in a row. And now her husband has COVID and had to spend the night in the hospital. Shocking. So, I mean, obviously if this woman knows someone who got COVID, there's others as well. Um, that's the only thing I've seen so far of people admitting that they got COVID from convention, but that's why I'm like super spreader 2.0, dude. Anyway, all right, let's move on. So they had an awkward fashion show. <laughs> Wow. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Random people walking on a stage. So this is the fall collection. That's all I got from that awkward fashion show. Just a few people walking on the stage being like, look at the jewelry I'm wearing. <laughs> Which obviously like they had the big screen. So I guess everyone could kind of see it, but like it's very strange to have a fashion show just for jewelry in this big of an arena. Like cause who can see it from that far away? I labeled this ugly convention jewelry, which if you don't know at the paparazzi conventions, there are exclusive convention pieces that you can buy. And obviously the reps get all their hands on it as quickly as possible because they know that will sell out, particularly to their own downline who weren't able to make it to the convention. Just, you know, they gotta have those pieces in their own shop too, even though they're gonna make no money off of selling it. So here we go, some bougie. <laughs> or wanna be bougie anyway. Earrings, rings, um, yeah. Like you can just tell looking at this shit. Like those are just like little stupid chains, <laughs> but it looks cheap. Like you can tell, like, look at that. That's clearly extremely cheap. And it's just wild to me. Like obviously, oh, it's $5 Savannah. Of course it's gonna be cheap. Yeah, duh. Why are they showing off this jewelry? Because like, it's just clearly very cheaply made. Let's see, what else does this video have? Wow, look at this cheap ass ring. <laughs> I can't really. Yeah, we can tell. show you guys the preview for convention jewelry, okay? I started posting it already. So you guys, you don't want to miss out on these pieces. They are really, really gorgeous. So convention is awesome. I want you guys to tag the crap out of this live, okay? I'm going to turn it around and I'm not going to say anything, okay? I don't own the rights to the music either, okay? We know. Oh, by the way, the caption says convention jewelry exclusive to those who attend conventions. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure that they can just buy large quantities of it and bring it back and then sell it on their live streams. These are like rare pieces. You can't just go in the back office and buy these. You have to get them at conventions. So they're highly sought after. So of course, every consultant who's gonna show up here is gonna buy as many pieces of this as possible. So again, it just goes to show, paparazzi sells these convention tickets for 250-ish a pop and then they get all the people to show up there, they buy all the swag, and then they buy more inventory. How do you even get it at home, dude? I wonder if these people bring like extra bags or even like maybe they buy that paparazzi duffel bag that we saw in the swag shop and just like fill it up. And then they have to like check their luggage and stuff, you know? They come there with a carry-on and then they come back having to check a bag. It makes you wonder. Yeah, looking at this shit up close, it's just ah. Oh, there's like some oil spill earrings. Apparently oil spill is huge in paparazzi. <laughs> But those are the gorgeous brand new oil spill boots. You guys, get your hands on those. Those don't look that good. Look at cute. this. We have a new color called Martini Olive. And this is just layers and layers of really, really awesome urban look. Ew. That's ugly. I'm sorry. And what is this? Look at these little smiley face <laughs> beads. That's not worth $5. That looks like a kindergartner made it. Look at how gorgeous this is. Look at how cheap this is. Are you kidding? That looks like something I could get at the Peter Piper Pizza prize counter. Like <laughs> That is the cheapest piece of shit I've ever seen. And then this piece, like even if it were high quality, it's just an ugly piece. It's too busy. Like, mm -hmm. Whatever, if you like it, wear it. I guess I don't give a shit. So our theme today for, for the general session was all about being happy and surrounding yourself with happy people and not negative people and how we have to adapt to the way life has changed working from home 
and everything just needs to like adapt and be a changeable, right? So they came out with this really cool necklace. Look at this. You needed to hire a motivational speaker, a keynote speaker, and pay them thousands of dollars to tell you that shit. Also, taking that advice just further puts you in an echo chamber, paparazzi consultants. Like, come on. Because what we're doing now, a video like this that you're watching now, uh, is considered negative because, yeah, I'm just, I'm ripping convention apart. Yeah, they killed 20 people last year. I'm gonna rip it apart. Shit. But whatever, regardless, it's just, there's a lot of criticism that paparazzi is deserving of. So it's considered negative. They don't want to hear any of it. So they're like, la, 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 can't hear you. So they get a freaking keynote speaker. That's essentially just like, if anyone leaves paparazzi, they're suppressive people. They're negative. So don't ever talk to them again. It's a cult. I mean, that just reinforces it. If that's what they were talking about at the keynote speaker for this day, clearly that's what's going on. It's a cult. And what's up with this piece with the crooked ass? Everything's crooked? Like what? Again, it looks busy. That's the line for the fall jewelry. So I will get in line and when I get up there I will go live. I don't think anyone's buying these yet either. Maybe they are, but I think this was just a showcase. But like people are willing to stand in a line to look at this ugly ass jewelry in a box. <laughs> I don't get it, man. They get so excited over these $5 pieces of jewelry and it's like, why? What's so special about them? I don't see anything special, dude. Here we have another piece that looks like a prize at Chuck E. Cheese. These ones are slightly more expensive looking, but still not expensive looking. <laughs> I just like the metal of these little leaf things, you can tell. And I bet like these little pearls will tarnish so easily. What's this, a lanyard? What are those fucking paper clips? Shit. Right from the words of Misty, she says, make sure you stack, stack, stack this necklace, okay? Look at this. Meaning, make sure you buy multiples of this necklace and stack them on top of each other so you look like a glittery turd. <laughs> that was mean. Um, this is ugly. <laughs> How awkward to be one of these models. You're just standing there and like all these people just show up to take pictures of you on their phone and then post on their social media to show all their team members. It's like a $10 Ew. snack, but you're getting it for five. Why would you want that? Those bottom beads look like boogers. Look at this. It's a deep red and it's called Lava Red. Now I posted these already, ladies. That looks cheap. Yep, moving on. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this. We got rose gold copper mixed with iridescent beads. Would you wear this? Seriously, tell me if you would wear this. I would never see myself wearing this, ever. There's nothing cute about it. Why do I think that these little beads look like fucking pacifiers? Like, <laughs> they have a new chain with tiger eye and this gorgeous stone and that is adjustable. Okay, that's actually not the ugly. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say the chain is cute. The chain looks really cheap, but I mean, I don't think the concept of this necklace is necessarily ugly. <laughs> they added oil spill for the men. Ugly. Here's the bracelet. Oh, this is men's? Also looks extremely cheap. And listen, I'm sure a lot of you would be like, obviously Savannah, of course they look cheap. It's $5, but it's like, who wants to look this cheap? You can get cuter pieces at a lot of places for about the same amount of money, if not maybe a little bit more. That just don't look this cheap, man. And they're always talking about how beautiful it is. Like, what is that? You're gonna wear that on your finger that's huge and obnoxious. It looks like a carrot. <laughs> so here's your fiercely Fifth Avenue. They better have paid these models a hefty sum of money for this. Who would, oh my God, who would want to do this? How long was this little showcase going? How long do these women have to stand there? <laughs> that necklace is so ugly. I'm sorry. That is not doing that beautiful woman any favors at all. This is September. That looks like children's jewelry. That looks like something a six-year-old would wear. I thought they got rid of Starlet Shimmer. Nope, I guess not. Here, wear all this ugly jewelry. Ah! And they're all so excited about this shit. This is your sunset sighting. That's the ring, look at oh. Like it's another children's piece of jewelry. Doesn't it look like something a kid would wear? But nope, this is for grown ass women. So that's basically all of the convention jewelry and I guess the fall sneak peek. So next, let's move on. I have another awkward pre-general session party. What the fuck? 
Obviously check all these empty seats, but again, this was pre-general session from what I understand, so people were probably still coming in. Still though. Look at all that, damn. Oh, get it girl, okay, get it. <laughs> yes. And no party like a paparazzi party. That's one thing you got right. I've never seen anything like this. No, that's not cringe at all. Oh my god, there he is! For all the birthdays in the house, we're gonna say happy birthday on three. Ready? One, two, three! Happy birthday! I love you. Happy birthday, I love you, he says to the woman he's never met. Dude, this guy is so awkward. Again, paparazzi better have paid him a shitload of money to do this. Oh my god, here he comes! Is he doing the chicken dance? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, look at him go! Yeah, he's probably like, I've never seen this many middle-aged women in an arena in my life. <laughs> Sir, please don't. Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> what is this dance? Damn girl, get it! I think that this was like early in the morning too. So like, I don't think any of these people have had alcohol and like, I'm sorry and maybe it's just me, but like I could not attend this, this level of cringe and enjoy myself even a little bit without some booze. But I mean, it's Vegas, so you never know. That's pretty much it for that. I do have a video that I've labeled keynote speaker culty guy. Now this is the one I was saying earlier, I got like the beginning of it, but this is the only video I've been able to find of the keynote speaker. So again, if any Anyone knows where to find a full video of one of these speeches, please send it my way. But this is all I could get my hands on. And they're singing the fight song. <laughs> Fighting against the anti-MLM haters. The video's kind of blurry, but as you can see, like even here, right before they're about to have a keynote speaker, like literally right before, empty chairs everywhere. Check that out. Empty seats up here. Empty seats up here. Empty seats up here. Like, wow. Empty seats up here. <laughs> like, damn. My purpose today is to introduce a very neat person uh, to your keynote speaker. What is more important in your life than for you to reach your potential? This Bond Group organization impacts companies, professionals at all levels on the power of being accountable. See, being successful in life is really about accountability and it's really about you doing what you said you're going to do. Look to your neighbor right now and say what happens to you happens to me. What? <laughs> this individual also before founding this training and development company by the name of Walter oh, Bond, inspiration. played professional basketball right for NBA teams such as the Utah Jazz, Detroit Pistons, and the Dallas Mavericks. When I played in high school, my high school basketball coach said, hey, for you guys who want to go to the next level, listen to me. When I played college ball, my coach would say, hey, for you guys who want to go to the next level, listen to me. Walter delivers more than 100 life-changing keynotes and seminars each year. Everyone in this ballroom has a next level, and I'm here to push you to your next level. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. please welcome to the stage, award-winning speaker and business coach, Mr. Walter Vaughn. Yay, Walter! Yay! I've never heard of this guy. He'd probably be interesting to look into, though. That is a very specific way to start your speech, sir. Especially for a company that sells $5 products. Who wants to make a whole lot of money? You either gotta sell a lot of jewelry or you gotta recruit a lot of people. Wee! Raise your hand if you wanna have a great family. Raise your hand. Oh! Okay, one more question. Raise your hand if you wanna have a great family.
to get all that God has for you, don't you just like ask for it? Don't you just like pray for it and then God's supposed to answer your prayers? Oh, what? That's not how God works? Dang. If I want what all that God has to offer for me, I gotta join paparazzi, gotta go to convention, gotta listen to this dude speak. Speak a bunch of word salad, that is. Oh, I know I'm in the right place. Paparazzi, I just wanted to come by and check in on you. Hey, Megan. I just wanted to stop by on your journey just to see how you did. <laughs> and what I want to do is tell you my story, my journey on my way to the NBA. But most importantly, I want to teach you something powerful and give you something free when I'm done. Is that fair? Yeah. Raise your hand if you like free. Raise your hand. Yeah. I'm from the south side of Chicago, 87th Street. Hey! That was all I have of the keynote speaker. So obviously it was probably an extremely interesting speech and I wish I could hear the whole thing. Anyway, so then they had a black and white gala. I have very awkward videos from that. All right, so the woman here in the middle, I believe that's Misty Kirby. All of these people on the stage, I think are her corporate team. And guys, this is a four minute long video of just this what we're watching right now of a bunch of random people dancing on a stage to some music. There's nothing coordinated about this. There's nothing exciting about this. It's just Misty Kirby getting her groove on, on stage with all the rest of her staff of scammers, I guess. <laughs> I don't fucking know. At one point, some guy starts twerking. I gotta show you that. Oh, is it this guy? Aren't the Kirby's Mormon? Is this what the Mormons do when they party? Is this how we know it's a good time? And God is totally okay with this kind of fun. Oh, look at this guy getting down. Is he the one who's gonna twerk? The fuck? How did you not hurt yourself, sir? That had to have hurt, but he just gets back up. Ken, what's up? I just broke three of my ribs. It's fine. <laughs> There's like one person in the front row like unenthusiastically like, yeah, <laughs> get it, I love paparazzi. Here we are. Okay, maybe it's not really twerking, he's just kind of shaking his butt. I don't know if God likes that. That's a little vulgar. You get the point. Uh, there's still another long span of this video, but I'm not gonna subject you to the whole thing. But just so you know, I did watch the whole thing and it was just as bad as you would think it is. This is people walking across the stage they had like a recognition event, probably for like elites and life of the party and stuff. I don't know. Here I have footage of the ceremony. Now paparazzi was built on parties. And the growth we've seen over the last year can easily be attributed to those striving to become life of the party. The life of the party members with diamond access know exactly what it takes to reach this access level. And they get the Woo! ultimate crown trophy to prove it. There it is. Yeah. Now, these yeah. Don't just talk the talk. They walk the walk. Sharing the obsession with adorable jewelry every chance. Now, in addition to this exquisite crown trophy, Life of the Party members with Diamond Access receive an exclusive invitation to join founders Misty and Shani for a Vegas getaway. Not just that, a complete shopping spree and a trip to the corporate office. Now that shopping spree he's talking about, unless they've changed anything since Tracy was in it, but if you guys know Tracy Reed, uh, she's someone I've had on the channel a few times. She told me because she has won Life of the Party before and gotten this shopping spree. She basically said that you more so get a personal shopper and they tell you what to buy. They basically just make you buy a bunch of expensive shit, whether or not it's your style and whether or not you like it. Yep, they just follow you around with the camera and they go, you want that. <laughs> and I think Tracy said they made her buy like a Gucci bag or something and she's like, I still have it. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to just like spend it on whatever you want because paparazzi is all about image, right? They want everyone to be able to show off essentially like a wealthy lifestyle, even though their <laughs> jewelry is $5. They're like, no, go buy a Gucci bag with this money that we're giving you. So yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of expensive shit, but whether or not you like that expensive shit, that's the question. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite our life with the party members with diamond access to take their moment on stage now on the screen, you'll see the names of our 2022 Life of the Party members with Diamond Access who are with us.
tonight. Please give them a round of applause as they cross the stage like the party. Diamond! All right. So you get it. I mean, I think that's basically the entirety of this video. I don't think it was anything more than just people walking across stage. Here I have some kind of an after party. Caption says 900 were in attendance. The finale is what they said in the caption. It's in the arena again, so this must be a paparazzi event. But again, you could see at the beginning there, there were a lot of empty chairs. Yeah, look at all that. All those empty seats, baby. Guess the after party wasn't that important to attend. Or maybe this whole convention wasn't worth it to attend. People didn't want to die this year. Go figure. Yeah, it looks really fun. <laughs> There's some people just sitting down just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Quick, everyone, act like you're having a good time. Now, to finish off this event of a lifetime, Miss Carrie Underwood was the closer, and apparently she was late, according to this video. Again, you can see the empty seats behind her. I'm like, with such a big name like Carrie Underwood, why would you miss this, right? If you're gonna pay the amount of money that you pay for a ticket to this thing, why would you miss fucking Carrie Underwood? Or Train, or Florida Georgia Line, whatever that fucking band was, but like, especially, like, Carrie Underwood, didn't she win American Idol? Like, she's pretty famous. <laughs> Look at all these people, wow. Yeah, full house, wow. So we're gonna wait. Oh, it might be now. They're Oh, you thought just because the song was over that she was about to come on? <laughs> she late. She late. She late. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this and you guys can just see the opening, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like this is a really like anticlimactic introduction to such a big artist too. All these people with the fuck. Like she's she didn't even come out with all that. They get everyone all hyped up and then it's just like nothing happened. Wow, well, do some skipping around here. <laughs> Bar she blows! Get it, Carrie. <laughs> anyway. Oh, hi there. So while I was editing this, yes, I just got done editing everything I filmed the other day. Obviously, I'm here on a different day. Not all made up. Sickness has hit my household. Griffin is downstairs with his sick dad. <laughs> He also is a little bit sick. My house is falling apart. So excuse me for not wanting to put makeup on and change into something more fun to look at. But this is the popcorn that uh, Royal Emporium sent me and I just popped it for the first time. They're like so cute. They're like these tiny little adorable popcorns. I've never seen them like this before. They're really good. That's not what I came here to tell you all though. As I was editing this, I realized that there are two very important things that I forgot to share with you guys. I couldn't just leave it out of this video because this is one important thing that happened and we have some videos to watch but then I also discovered something that I want to show you guys also but first I was sent this screenshot from one of the general sessions and it says anyone ready for a paparazzi debit card excuse me what could this possibly mean? Is this gonna be a way that they start paying their distributors like on a prepaid card? How are they doing it now? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Hopefully this isn't like a credit card because guys like Mary Kay, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hi. Pretty sure Mary Kay has a credit card. Like literally they market it as a way to pay for your starter kit. So I'm like, this better not be that. It says debit card on the screenshot, but that's all the information I have. So something weird is coming as far as that goes. We also have these videos to watch regarding uh, paparazzi kind of changing some things up. Paparazzi premiere is what it's called. Let's go, yes. Yeah, they have an app now called Paparazzi Premiere. Game changer, that's right, Mandy. It's like a comment sold for paparazzi. I got my popcorn. Yes, there's more, there's more, don't worry. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here's the thing, it's gonna be super awesome for all your new consultants that sign up. To be able to just slip right in yep. to something already pre-made. All right, three yes. key business tools Roll immersion to one multi tool. Yes! Giving you more time to do what you do best. But just make connections with your customers, build relationships. That's you awesome. Share jewelry. No more square. This one more thing here is a card reader. You know, credit card swiper. Oh! They're coming out with a 
Hard sniper. Like, Square didn't already have that? <laughs> you can get Square for free. Are they gonna charge for this? That was the first video. Pop-Tart. Oh god, Pop-Tart's throwing up. <laughs> I know pop tart it is really gross so here's what i'm gathering from all that paparazzi came out with an app to where they're going to be able to list all of their inventory that they buy so while this seems like it would be convenient there's been some speculation about what this means what i see with this is an opportunity for paparazzi to change up their compensation plan because now that they can track jewelry sales because before they weren't able to they were only able to track what jewelry was bought from the back office as inventory and then once it left the office it was in the hands of the consultants and never thought about again from the corporate side now they can keep track of every piece that you sell so that really opens up an opportunity for them to be able to change their compensation plan with the way that elites get paid the people who are high up who have giant teams because right now they're getting paid off of what their downlines are buying as inventory not what they're actually selling so is this an opportunity for paparazzi to change that because also i found out yesterday you guys remember that uh lawsuit that paparazzi opened up against their ex-consultants i have a whole video about that well they are countersuing now they're countersuing paparazzi and part of the countersuit is for them being a pyramid scheme so it's like is paparazzi going to take this opportunity to actually change their compensation plans so that no one can say it's a pyramid scheme because right now paparazzi is one of the closest to a pyramid scheme mlm companies that i can think of because the people at the top are not making money off of product sales they're making money off of consultants buying inventory so if that happens elites are going to get pissed off because that means it's going to be a huge pay cut now they haven't announced that they're doing anything like this yet but honestly i think it's coming i'm calling it right now anyway there's one more video they're releasing a new system They're releasing a new app for consultants to use for inventory, invoicing, shipping, payments, everything. Finally, you'll be able to create an e-commerce storefront. Did I say that right? E and you can create a storefront. A storefront. Customers can shop All through Paparazzi. Again, your own personal inventory. Okay. I need you to do something for me. I need you to let me know that you're ready to see this. Yeah. All right, that's all the videos I have. So it took them, oh, just 11 years to come out with a platform like this because up until now, consultants were just buying a boatload of inventory and then getting it shipped to them and then handling all that themselves, handling the shipping, the orders, all that. They're obviously making it easy for consultants to do all this, which is great for the people who actually run this, like it's their own jewelry business. They don't like build teams and shit. They're just like actually selling the jewelry this is a good thing for them however it's a really potentially bad thing for the elites if things get off the ground and start changing the way I really think they're going to I think this is just the first baby step but we will see how this plays out I think it's very interesting and one last thing I don't know if this is copyrighted or not so I'm only gonna play a little bit for you but did you guys know that paparazzi has their own song <laughs> Yeah, like you know how Monet has the like, we are, we are, we are Monet, or Monet, or whatever they fucking say in the song. Paparazzi has one too. It's called the Paparazzi Bling song. And I just wanted to play a little bit for you. I'm all about that bling, that bling, that paparazzi bling. I'm all about that bling. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you. Okay, back to the video. That is all I have to show you. That 
is the extent of what happened at paparazzi convention now if we hear anything about it being a super spreader event 2.0 i will keep you posted however i do also feel like if it were to be a super spreader event i think that they would keep this all very under wraps considering all the drama that happened last year and my hope is that like enough people got vaccinated between last year and now that maybe the spread wasn't so bad or if anyone did get covid they didn't have to go to the hospital even though that one person said the husband had to go to the hospital but like I mean there were a lot of people who got sick last year so I'm just hoping that that doesn't happen again this year but if it does I will keep you posted there were a lot less people there this year too so less super spreading than last year but still some super spreading going on anyway <laughs> let's end this video by thanking some people first of all thank you Royal Emporium my friends Andrew and Will for sending me that giant box of stuff don't forget guys if you want to check them out out, you can use a code that is not necessarily my code because I don't make any money off of it if you buy anything but you will get 15% off if you use the code Savannah at royal-emporium.com check them out they got a lot of stuff so whatever you're looking for you can probably find there and now let's thank my patrons and my members guys the list of people I'm about to list off here are my financial supporters. They get access to things like our private Discord server. We have a postcard club, early access to videos sometimes. This is a video that they will get early access to and more. So if any of that sounds good to you, you can go to patreon.com slash Savannah Marie or you can click the join button beneath this video to join my YouTube memberships. It's all the same. Whatever platform you want to join on, it's fine by me. And with that, the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Hula Chowdown, Janelle Pratt, Amanda Shannon, Katrina Rosmerick, Cecilia Dudek, Christy Taylor, Elizabeth Wyatt, Eve Blondo, Nitty Dragon, Leanne, Meredith Nakata, Raya Mute, Sheila Tapia, Turd Ferguson, Alice W, Amanda Shannon, Boris Geller, Caroline Reed, Casey Scraper, Daniel Urena, E. Higgins, Jerry Duncan, Hannah Morrison, Hannibal Crossing, Heidi Haw, Julia Wheeler, Kim Cartwright, Maddie Darley, Marley Fletcher, Princess Deathwish, Ray, Tuesday the 13th, Blazed Goddess, Martine Hubert, The Best Elephant, Aaron Sings, Jessica Billhart, Carol Jenks, Rebecca 88, Colin F, Laura Jensen, Mitchie 84, Vegan Chicky Nuggy, Jess Kronfeld, Emion, Kazzy, Auntie Lou, Little Birdie, and Fallon Lowry, and to the rest of my financial supporters, thank you so much for being here and being you. And even if you're not a financial supporter, thanks for making it to the end of this video. It means a lot because YouTube likes watch time. It's its favorite. So <laughs> keep making waves, babes, and I'll smell you all later. Mommy Tsunami out.